Yo, what is going on gamers? It is your champ here and I'm back again today with a new video. In Splatoon, there are three different roles, aggressive, midline, and backline. With these three roles comes a large varying range of special weapons which help to do the trick and emphasize how these roles should perform. Example, the infamous Stingray on backline and the powerful ink armor on midline. And in some cases, there are even special switch multitask roles, like the bubble blower, which can be used to paint, aggress, hold, and recapture. But today, we're talking about full force aggression. And with that, we will be talking about the incredibly powerful ultra stamp, but it is more commonly known as the hammer. Before I get into the guide though, I figured I'd give a little bit of history on the special. The Ultra Stamp only recently became a very popular special ever since Arashi at Genesis 6 blew many people's minds with his uncontested force with the special. And even though it was said that many players didn't know how to play against it or counter the special, the statement was already said. Hammer blew up in the community, and interest in weapons which had it peaked, and especially after buffs it received, it became the uncontested force of aggression. While still a poor man's Kraken, the special after its buffs could do even more than the Kraken could. Like for example, it was able to go over grates and it was even capable of being thrown at targets. And yet, while being weaker and being able to be killed, it still acted like a roller and it could get easily quick sharking kills and had stealth on its side, something which Kraken could not possess. The hammer could install a type of fear that Kraken never could, especially since hammer produced a shark effect, now you see me, now you don't. Seeing a large hammer one second, but then seeing it vanish the next would incredibly terrify your opponents and keep them on edge. Again, something to which Kraken could never do, as they would always see you and be ready to dodge. But regardless, that's just a little bit of history, let's get into the meat of the matter. Attack modes and how to play. Ball Daddy Sendow had previously mentioned that something which gave Hammer a unique edge was the fact that it had three different styles of attack. The Flick, the Stampede, and... <laughs> With that said, how about we give these attack types a little bit more insight. The Stampede Gather the bulls cause we're going straight through! This is the Stamp's most dangerous type of attack and is easily the one that racks up the most kills. And sometimes, it feels unstoppable. All you have to do is hold ZR and move your left stick and you're good to go. But it isn't as easy as it sounds. As before you can do this a type of attack, you need to ensure you know one crucial thing the location of your enemies. You need to know where your opponents are when using stamp in general, or else you're wasting your time and your special meter. You need to ensure that you have the location of at least two opponents on your radar before using this. Stampede mode though is incredibly good at carving a path when you're pushing, and is capable of single-handedly shutting down pushes, especially on modes like Raymaker and Clan Blitz. Stamp can also be used to hold areas simply by sharking around and waiting for drops, but that segues into our second mode. The Flick This is the most conventional and possibly stylish attack mode and should always be used before stampeding, as the slam before takes a lot of time and is fairly slow. So, Flick to Stampede is a must learn combo and at the start you need to have it worked into your muscle memory. It is as simple as a B to ZR and with this we get into the style aspect of the Flick. As if you've seen from my video, I tend to snap my camera to get ridiculous kills, and this is the main reason why I've called it a flick, cause you usually flick your camera, but don't be a dumbass and miss your opponents, as that does tend to happen without practice. Flicks serve as an introduction to the hammer, and also function as a surprise element to the special, as it has a ridiculously quick kill time. Flicks are mainly used as openers to interactions with Hammer, usually to get kills, but in many situations function as a warner, telling your opponent if they get near to you or if they drop, they will die and are forced to wait you out. Flicks are usually telling your opponents that they need to back up, so you can immediately then stamp them and get the kill. Flicks also have a side variant, one to which I have called the guillotine. It's a very simple routine, your opponent is on a wall and you want them gone. All you do is snap your camera behind you while you're falling and you get the kill. When you successfully do it, it feels as if you've driven a blade straight through your opponent and they have no form of salvation, hope, or redemption to their worthless lives. I do want to say, I've never actually seen anyone else except for myself successfully hit a guillotine. So just keep putting in work and trying to hit the angles. 
Here's the one you've all been waiting for. The... Yay! That's right, all you boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, also my very sweaty black men. You may have possibly disagreed with me when I said that the flick was the most stylish, and maybe I was wrong. But here it is, all of you. The trademark. Yay! Okay, I'm so sorry that joke has ran its course. You didn't deserve to hear it a third time. But anyways, let's get back into this. Okay, okay where are we on the script? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this action has single-handedly made the hammer and possibly Arashi himself so famous. The Ultra Stamp, for those of you who do not know, is capable of being thrown through the air at incredibly fast speeds. And this has led to some crazy kills being featured on Twitter. The Yeet is the only to be done as a finisher towards your hammer, as you've come to terms with it and you think you no longer need it, but there are some exceptions to where this doesn't apply. A. You are trying to reach a player who's out of your reach, and if you approach them, death may be an option. B. To kill ink jets or stingrays. C. There are no opponents around and holding your stamp can place you at a disadvantage. Yeats aren't always to be used by means of killing. You're simply dropping your hammer so you can get back to your main and sub weapon. But yeats are not to be wasted. They can get some pretty important off screen kills. So just aim at a general area, let loose, and see if you can get something. It must be said though that yeats aren't just completely random throws. There are two upper, more advanced levels of yeeting. The first is yeat snapping, and the second is to calculate your yeats. Yeet snapping is a form of fainting your opponents into getting completely destroyed by your hammer at the last second. This way, you can snap around while your opponents have completely dropped your guard and proceed to penetrate them with your big black hammer. On the other side, you can also calculate your yeets. You must be able to read your opponent's movement and your yeeting distance. For those of you who do not know, the hammer, when being thrown, functions as a sub-weapon. This way, it is capable of telling you where your hammer will arrive, the distance it will travel at, and how high it is capable of going. More advanced and more accustomed hammer players are capable of telling where the hammer will go, how to direct it, and how to steer it. This is something that comes with experience, so do not worry newer hammer players. Just put in time and you will learn it. With that said guys, I do believe I can finally wrap up the video. If you haven't noticed, I'm getting just a little bit tired, but I do hope you found this guide at least a little bit educative. Maybe it helped you, maybe it didn't. I'm very sorry if it didn't. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. This has been me, and I'll see you guys next time.